<laughs> I've now got my pony. me and welcome back to another video. So today's video is actually the first episode in my new series called How to Start Riding. Now this is particularly aimed at you guys that might feel that there are barriers in the way of you starting your equestrian journey. Now my dream is to make horse riding a more accessible sport to all. It's so beneficial not only to your physical health but also your mental health and that's just not riding, it also includes looking after the horse as well. It's really important that we remove these barriers for the future generation of equestrians. Now I understand that the equestrian world doesn't always feel the most welcoming and that needs to change. For the first episode of this series I visit the 2021 Equestrian Business Awards Riding School of the Year Team Toucham who are doing an incredible job at making sure that riding is accessible to young people from all walks of life. So let me take you back to when I went to the stables and nobody knew I was coming. It was a little bit of a surprise and I became a saddle clubber for the day. I don't know if you're a recognizer, but does anybody recognize you? Oh, okay. So if I put Esme down on our writing list today. It's lovely to meet you all. <laughs> okay. So a bit shocked here. We've got a crier. We've got a crier. Okay. So she could be spending the whole day with you as like you are as a saddle clubber. Okay, so we're going to make her feel welcome like we do everybody else. Introduce yourself. She's going to be coming out to the field with her. She's going to be in your lessons. She's going to ride. Everything that you do, Esme's going to do. And that includes pre picking the field like we do. Yep. <laughs> the whole shebang, yeah? So, get your head collars, girls. Have a look at who you're getting in. And we'll double check to make sure you've got the right head collars. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I cannot wait. Oh, you have to help me go around, find what ponies I need to bring in, so. Yeah, I don't really know where everything is, so. Do you guys have like a favorite pony here? Yes. Awesome. You have to let me know who's who. Here I am on the saddle club board. Okay, what horse am I bringing in? Wally. awesome. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay then girls, so those are going that way, those are going that way. Helmet on, time to go and get a pony. <laughs> oh. Alright, can someone tell me what Wally looks like? What sort of pony is Wally? Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Oh, they're all having the sneeze. Resting up before the Saturday. Hi, Wally. Hello, you are gorgeous. Just gonna pop a lead right round you, mate. Oh, he's off. There we go. Over your nose. Let's want it. A big forelock. You are gorgeous, mister. Yes, where's the other end? I love a hairy cob. Yes. Oh, your legs are so fluffy, look at them. I have now got my pony. It's time to take him back to the yard. Get you groomed and tacked up. One of the reasons why Team Touchem is such an awesome riding school is that they're breaking down barriers to access learning to ride. As a registered charity, they aim to provide people from disadvantaged backgrounds the opportunity to horse ride as well as care for horses. It's a really inclusive community that feels just like a big family. I'm here with Wally who I've just led up from the field along with all the other riders and there are a lot of horses and ponies here I've got to say. So he's actually going to be in a lesson today with someone on the lead rein and I'm going to be leading him so really looking forward to that. But first I need to groom him and tack him up and get him ready. I think he's just having a bit of a scratch at the moment. And we also have the big tractor going along here too because that's sort of the pooper scooper cleaning tractor so it's actually really satisfying to watch but anyway should we get you groomed then mister do you want a bit of a scratch seems what you're enjoying good scratch hey 
So he's a bit of an older pony here, but um, he does a lot of the lead rein lessons and things and has a little walk around. So I'm looking forward to leading him later. Good boy. Each week, everybody has allocated a horse that they have to look after for the day. So that includes getting them up from the field, grooming them, picking out their hooves, tacking them up, getting them ready for the lesson. And this also is really good because it gives the children a sense of responsibility, as well as having the opportunity to experience what it's like to look after your own horse. On this particular day, I was helping out with a younger rider called Lawrence, who I had the absolute pleasure of meeting. We both had so much fun at grooming Wally and tacking him up, ready for his lesson later on. All done. We're going to do a little bit around here. Can you reach? I had a bit too much fun grooming, so I'm a little bit behind because everyone has their saddle on already. So quick, we need to get Wally all tacked up and ready to go. All of the horses here at Team Touchem are looked after so well and of course get a lot of attention from all the different people that come in to have their lessons. And before we knew it, it was then time to walk Wally down and get Lawrence on board. If not, he's going to go zooming off without you. Oh, other, other foot, left foot. There we go. Okay, got that in. And up and over. There we go. Awesome. Lots of horses. The rest of the ride follow on. Oh yes, Suki. Zaza. Zoomy, zoomy, catch up. Oh, -ho! loving you on polo. Two, and let's see if we can get the up, down, up, down going. Good job. Good job, up and down and 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 up. It was so lovely to see how happy everyone was while they were riding. And it was also really nice to see some of the more experienced riders helping out by leading during the lessons. Is that good fun, Lauren? Did you just eat a load of sand? <laughs> no? I was like, do you know how to get off? And he was like, yes, and then just leaped off. <laughs> because your face is telling me otherwise, yeah. you see, with all this dust going on. <laughs> right, rain's overhead! Alright, so I've just finished my first session today as being a leader and it's really taken me back to when I used to volunteer at my local riding school. I think we had a good lesson, didn't we? We had a lot of fun? Yes. Yep. Wally was a very good boy. He, he definitely got speedy when we were doing the trotting. I, he, I almost, I couldn't keep up with you guys. You were zooming along, yeah? But no, he's been a very good boy and he's going to have a rest now. And it's really lovely that, you know, you've got to groom him and tack him up and everything. Yes. What a good boy. Being in the lesson also really took me back to when I learnt to ride. I learnt to ride at a riding school very similar to this. So um, I would go and I'd get the horses from the field. I'd be taught how to groom them and tack them up. And I know a lot of riding schools don't do that. You kind of just come along, get plonked on a horse, go around in a few circles and then you're done. But here I love how, you know, the children and the people that are here to learn to ride, you know, they learn how to care for the horse as well as ride for them. That I think is really essential to any equestrian's life. So Wally here is getting very well cared for and lots of attention from lots of different people. Hey. And I will grab it. Do you want to grab it? Well, I'll be here to catch it just in case. So lift it nice and high. There we go. Got it? Yes. And do you think you can put it on the fence? Can you lift up? Up, up, up. Big muscles. There we go. I've got the rest. Well done. After that, it was then time to do one of the most important jobs when it comes to caring for horses. So with horses, there's a lot of so I'm here with the poo picking teams. Everyone ready? Yeah. Let's go. Far too long, he left your love behind. But still, you keep on crawling back despite the pain right. inside. Cause all that I want is for you to be happy. Well, give me a chance to show that you can be. Well, open your eyes and see the way I. Eating my lunch. Got some crisps. 
She always told me what I'm eating. So this is Otis. He's around six, seven, and I'm gonna be riding him today. He's also around, I'd say like 15 hands, and he is a super cob apparently. So I'm really looking forward to riding him, but first I need to get him groomed and tacked up. Good boy. Oh, you're molting, Otis. Look at all that fleece. Time for my lesson. Let's go, Otis. Feels good. I really love riding different horses because you can learn so much by riding a horse that you've never ridden before. And because obviously all horses are different. So I'm looking forward to my lesson. Well done. Squeeze and lift into trot. Nice. Lovely. Don't get too fast though with Mally, yeah? Crikey, I might even be able to have mushy peas. We'll jump towards the valley. Lovely. Lovely. Straight line, turn left at the end. That's it. Nice positive trot. Yes, Good Otis. boy. That's it, keep that trot, stay nice and relaxed. Think trot in your head. Love, lovely, well done. Straight line, back to trot. Team Touchem's motto is be kind. And in the jumping lesson, I really did feel that. As he went over the fences, everyone would cheer and it really was such a supportive environment. So I've just finished my lesson on Otis and he was such a good boy. Um, he's a little bit of a green, greener horse or younger horse. So um, it was really nice seeing how much he improved over the session. I felt like I learned quite a lot from riding him, you know, riding a new horse and riding a younger, less experienced horse as well. And um, we did some jumping at the end, which he absolutely loved. He, by the end of the session, he was really taking me to the fences and you could really see his confidence grow. Um, but yeah, he's super lovely. I had so much fun. I honestly want my own little Lotus. I love cobs so much. But you're adorable, aren't you? But anyway, I need to untack him now, give him a bit of a hose down and probably some treats as well. Good boy. We'll wash down. He's a little sweaty, but he worked very hard, so. There we go. Very good boy. A lot of the ponies here are actually rescues like Winter. We also have Gary, June and Spring. Um, so these ponies were found abandoned, really emaciated and with a lot of love, care and training, they're now used here and are living their best lives. Like Winter here is absolutely adorable, aren't you mister? So I think he's going to go and give someone a lesson now. They're so sweet, I love cobs. You're adorable. All the ponies have been ridden, they've been untacked, and lastly, all we need to do is take them down to the field and turn them out again. So it really is a full day thing here. Um, so Otis here was a very good boy, and I think he's gonna enjoy having a snooze in the sunshine. Well done. Thank you very much Otis for the lesson, goodbye! I've had such an incredible day here and I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone at Team Touchem for very kindly having me. It really is a lovely community of people and it does feel like, you know, a big family that I've been welcomed into. It's so essential that we have places like this for the future generation of equestrians. My dream is for everyone to be able to have access to horses and they're really doing such a lovely thing here because the people here aren't only learning how to ride horses, they're also learning how 
child to care for them and also create a bond as well which I think is so essential to any equestrian's journey. Also if you'd like to find out some more information about how to get into riding I'll leave some links in the description below. I'm also really excited to say that I will be continuing this series and I'm actually going to be visiting another riding school in an inner city so that should be really exciting. But anyway I just want to say a huge thank you for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already please like and subscribe because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all next time. Bye!